In this video, we are going to talk about Artillery Hornet Bowden Extrusion System, unlike the other two models, Sidewonder and Genius, which use direct extrusion. We are going to disassemble and assemble both extruder and hot end to have a better understanding of the components and the process of putting them together in case you face clogging issue or you need to replace a part in the extruder or hot end. But before we jump in, let's see the difference between direct and Bowden extrusion. In direct extrusion system, the extruder and the hot end form a single element, minimizing the distance between the pulling point and the nozzle. In Bowden extrusion system, the extruder is held fixed in the frame of the 3D printer and pushes the filament into the hot end through a tube called a Bowden tube or filament tube. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to remove the uh, filament tube uh, right at the top of the extruder and the hot end. And uh, for the next, there are four bolts uh, on the cover extruder and I try to uh, on a screw and remove them. and remove the cover so these are the components inside the extruder the driving gear wheel uh, the knob and this is where you can actually adjust the uh, tension of the feeding uh, filament and we do have a uh, pdfe tube right here so uh, just if you face in case you face a clogging issue or uh, in, in case you need to replace this uh, just make sure they are in the line with the upper components. Just put it back and uh, press it in. So there is another tube inside here which may also cause the clogging issue and I'm going to disassemble it for you. Uh, for that I just try to remove this spring and there is a, a screw right at the back of the PCB only one so I'm going to remove it put it down here and also this you just can lose it and as you can see when I try to remove this cover this whole part goes out so as you can see there is a small tube again right here and again make sure they're all in one line they're all in one line and then you can put it back again together so this is the upper part which connects to the to down here to the ptfe tube so as you can see you can totally remove it put it inside the upper one and then put it back just very easy right and then I can put back the screw and secure it As you can see, I put back my spring. Everything is secure and I can put back my cover. It's right here. Just make sure everything is okay. And also you can 
tighten this nut right here. Then I grab the hex wrench and tighten the bolts. So let's have a closer look at the uh, hot end and break it down and as you can see uh, we do have two uh, fans here uh, right and left which, which you can have a total control of it and the one uh, right in front of the hot end heat sink, uh, heating block, uh, heating tube, thermistor and the nozzle and as you can see so in any case you unplug any of these cables just don't be worried because uh, uh, there are just uh, words or the letter actually uh, written down there so for example this one is for the heating tube this one is for the fan uh, these two are the fans the right and left one uh, this one is for the thermistor and the one here for the front fan and for next i'm going to just remove the cover So just remove the cover and as you can see it's connected, the, the fans are connected to that. So I am going to remove the cables and again as you can see the front fan, heating, heating block, nozzle, uh, heating tube, thermistor and the whole uh, component of the artillery hornet hot end take a closer look as you can see as i said uh, there are uh, letters written down here on the board uh, fan zero we do have two fan zero uh, which is for these two uh, fans actually and the fan there is another one fan one which is for the front one the one uh, stick to the uh, heat sink and uh, for thermistor the letters are TH and for the heating tube uh, the letter is uh, HE so don't be don't, don't worry if you just unplug it or in case you need to uh, replace them you just can simply unplug and plug it back it's similar to to the rest it's very easy simple and then I'm going to put it back just plug the fans put the bolts back and secure the cover to the hot end So let's mount the hot end on the X-ray. Let's put back the bottom tube. Uh, just make sure you line it up with the notch and then lock the ring. Uh, 
and the other one for the hot end. With Hornet's unique Bowden setup, the PTFE tube stays in a good position so that eliminates bends and minimizes friction. There is no PTFE tube movement and the extrusion is more accurate. It is just a single but unique piece that has the wires and the PTFE tube combined in a single element. The PTFE tube is almost not removable and it doesn't go right up to the nozzle so isn't easy to be damaged.